Okay, this is a simple dish that um, I was in bed ill one day and my husband decided to make. Um, it's very simple and fairly quick. And uh, I enjoyed it. And so I decided to add to it. And we have this quite often. If you're looking for something else to use some chicken for, um, this is for chicken tenders with the fat took out and cut up into small chunks. Um, I don't know if some of you may not want to. I, I usually warm this up because my husband doesn't have this on his. I warm this up in the microwave and pour this and mix it in with mine after it's all done. And I just mix this in with the sauce because um, that's all he likes on his. And then the seasonings, garlic, parsley, paprika, onion powder, pepper, and you can use salt if you like. Uh, we don't, we prefer not to have salt in ours. Um, and then your tomatoes and your onions cut up, full cherry tomatoes, keep those the way they are. And then your ronzoni, and I like this particular one because it's, they're a little thinner and just seem to mix a lot easier. So what you need is your frying pan. You can put, um, I have canola oil in here a little bit, and or you can use any oil, olive oil. And then your boiling water for the noodles, um, for the pasta. I added a little chunk of butter, but you can use olive oil in that too to keep it from sticking. So let's get started. Um, So we fry the chicken up in here, get it so it's cooked through. And while that's cooking, um, I'm going to add my noodles. Let's turn the heat down slightly. I don't want anything to burn and the smoke line to go off here. So now that the water is boiling, I add Probably, I, I'm going to add like a little over half a box of this into the pan here. There we go. And then we'll let that boil up. I'll get a spoon here. So you let this cook, you let the noodles boil. I'm saying noodles, pasta. I like to have that going anyway, but I don't use them all. I use them in something else tomorrow. So we'll let that cook. We'll let the chicken cook. Um, and in the meantime, while that's cooking, we can add some of the spices to the chicken. So I'll put. Um, these spices in here. And I'll just add a bit of pepper to this chicken. A little bit of um, onion powder. And we'll do this again a little bit once the noodles are in there. Some more uh, parsley. A little bit of parsley in there. A little paprika, not a lot of that, just a little bit. And some garlic. And that one's empty, so I'll have to put another one in there. And we let this cook for a while. And when the chicken is um, almost done, you add the onion and the tomatoes. You let this simmer for a while. You don't forget to um, stir your noodles. 
And then they have to be drained. And leave them sit for maybe a minute or two before you pour it into here. And now I'm going to add a little bit of my salad dressing. And like I said, if you prefer, you can use the sweet and sour. Um, you could even also add a tiny touch of uh, teriyaki soy sauce. Um, I think the teriyaki might be a bit strong, but some low sodium soy sauce and the sweet and sour if you prefer that. Um, I'm going to add my Robusto Italian dressing to this. So, this is what I do. Just a little bit with the chicken. And we mix that around. Now we just wait for the noodles. So now I've drained the noodles, and I'm going to put them back in the pan they were in and add um, the same seasonings that I put in the chicken and a little bit of the dressing and that would be the pepper, the garlic, paprika, um, parsley, and onion and some pepper. And you can add a bit of salt if you like too. And I'm going to pour a little bit of this on it too. So let's get this back into the pan. Okay, I'm also going to add a, um, a touch of butter in here, which I forgot to mention. Then we're going to mix all those ingredients around. Okay, now we're going to mix this all around. Get it all in there. Now I'm going to pour it into our chicken mixture. Just pour as much as you like in there. I think I kind of overdid it, put a little too much. And then we mix this around. There we go, and now you let that simmer for a little while. And then you put it on the plates, and you just, um, I'm going to add my heated up sweet and sour sauce, and my husband likes to put a bit of hot sauce on his. And there you have it. Um, just going to pour my And here you have it. And I just poured my my uh, sauce all over it. And trust me, it is delicious. And I call this my Chicken 76er. Enjoy.